To add a zoom effect to a video or image, right click on your video clip, go to Video Effects, Transforms, Zoom. On the Object Position Settings dialog, click OK. By default, your effect will last as long as the entire parent duration or the entire duration of the video clip. Click OK. If you click on the zoom effect and look to the right in the properties window, you'll see that by default the X and Y zoom levels are 70. If you change both of those to 100, that is the original size. Changing it to 200 is 2 times magnification or 200%. You can also animate the zoom. The straight line next to the zoom levels indicates that this is a constant parameter value. If you, if you click on the straight line, it will change it to a linear parameter change. Change this for both the X and Y zoom levels. The first value, change that to 100. What this will do is animate a default magnification or full size to 2x magnification. Currently, it takes the entire duration of the video clip to go from original magnification to 2x magnification. To reduce the amount of time, shorten the zoom effect that has been animated or has the linear parameter change. Place it approximately in the center of your video clip duration. Right click video effects and add another transforms zoom video effect. Shorten this effect so that it only lasts as long as the amount of space in front of the animated zoom effect. You can change this back to a constant value of 100. So now during this zoom effect, your zoom magnification will be default. Then your animated zoom effect will zoom in from default size to 2x magnification. Move the cursor to the end of that effect, right click, video effects, transforms, zoom to add a third zoom effect. This will also be a constant parameter, but this time it will be 200. So the first zoom effect, the zoom on the X and Y levels is 100. On the second zoom effect, there's an animation from zoom 100 to 200 or 2X magnification. The third effect maintains that 2X magnification. You can continue to adjust the amount of the animation by shortening the animated zoom effect and then stretching the zoom effects in front and after to finish the effect. Unfortunately, there is no way to animate the horizontal or vertical alignment of the zoom. So whatever you choose will remain constant. For instance, I can change the vertical alignment so that the zoom 
zooms to the bottom of the clip, but I cannot animate the zoom from the center of the clip to the bottom of the clip. It's just going to zoom to the bottom of the clip and stay there. But you want to make sure to also change that for your last effect as well.